just did the new headphones on for now. And this happy. <clears throat> it's already morning. Oh my goodness, I'm so tired. Why do I have headphones on? I decided to take them off. My ears feel painful. Ouch. <sighs> I went to go get a snack when I stopped and heard something. It was coming from downstairs. And so, I had no idea what was going on. The light was on. I decided to not even look over there. Bother to look in the room for me. I noticed that my PlayStation was turned on. I looked around. Nothing. So. My TV turned on. I said, just turn it off. I looked around and tried to find something. I couldn't. I looked even more around. Nothing was spotted. Until I noticed this. Like this and this. I've never seen this room before, but I decided. I thought it was morning. But it looked like it wasn't. I decided to get dressed and go for a bike ride. I opened I tried to open the door, but it was locked, so I unlocked it. This is very tight. I looked in my backyard. I decided to go home with me. I looked at my house and looked up at the rising sun. I couldn't even see. I decided to keep it on. Keep it off. I got on my pink bike and rode off. Everything was so normal. I love seeing things. It was so fun going and exploring the world after a year. I haven't been outside for a year. All I have been doing was going to the grocery store. And I was really proud of what I saw. I decided to go but I really needed my car washed, so I went back home. I got my car out. And drove. And drove. It was so weird to me, there's zero people here, but I still didn't care. I still went on. I looked around town. And I heard a bike by me. The bike was missing. I couldn't see it. I looked around and go and go forward. I saw this. Apparently, the car wash. I really need to pump some gas, too. I was going to get my gas. Oh, I'm ready. I respectfully can pop poop.
I decided to have what? I wondered where should I go? I forgot where I lived and I spent almost all day. I found it. I opened my garage. And closed it. I was so tired after that long trip. So I put on things. So I put on my PJs. And put my socks on and went to sleep. But suddenly I heard a noise. It sounded like something. I was terrified because I had no roommates. I just decided to, to just cover up and hope I wouldn't see them. And I fell asleep quietly. But the next morning was a disaster. I woke up. And looked. I felt like I heard something, saw something. I decided to go out and see what it was. I looked around and saw her. Sit down. I can adopt you if you want to adopt. I locked up Lisa and I felt bad for that little girl. He wanted some money. I'm suddenly because I'm nice. I gave him the money. Gave him some money. I walked upstairs. Too shocked. I kept thinking about that little boy. And I just shook it off. Shook it off. I decided to go back to sleep. But I couldn't. I would walk in my house. I looked and saw him. He looked at me and I was shocked. I did not see him too late. I just don't said. I just suddenly said, please go away. He was looking away in that house. I couldn't let him. And he was only a kid. I tried to... He wasn't allowed in there. And so I banned him. I was still so shocked I did that. I had to decide it it would be great to just get my mind off and go to the shop. I hoped no one would come back. Do, 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 do. I put back my PJs on. I decided I put my doggy PJs on. And I brought one of my toys that my mom gave me when I was 10, before she left. Before she left the house to put for a meeting. And she never came back. 
She said that she would live somewhere else, and my dad is living with me. He's just at work, and he has to stay there for almost all the time. Until something happened, I shrunk. I was shocked, because it wasn't just so tiny. I was so bad. I tried going back home, and my home disappeared. I tried going there to my car. My car disappeared. I did not know what's happening. I cried and cried and cried. I did not lo know what was happening today. Just, I hugged my teddy bear tightly and looked around for a new home. I decided that I would save up some money for it to give. That a little boy, I'd give him all my give him all my money. I can't believe. I was so scared and hungry. I just didn't know. I decided to go to... I ignored the boy again. I saw him, but I ignored him. I decided to dye my hair. My hair is something I've... I decided to have dye my hair brown so it doesn't look like doesn't look like I was. I guess my hair was dyed. My bangs are so pink. I decided to cut them off. I looked cute. But I still did not want to. I got my teddy bear and left. But that boy that I saw was following me. He decided to go to another direction. And I went to the other direction. I saw something. The boy was there again with a skateboard. I think he probably wishes my money on that stupid little skateboard. I said in my head really angrily. So I decided to follow the man and see what he would do. Looks like he lived at a very rich place or he was about to buy a house. It looks like he did. I saw. He was a policeman. And I saw Queen Quasi. I was so confused because there's no coins when I ate it. I checked the time and I was shocked to see what it was. I shrunk. There's the newspaper on the ground. I looked at it. I grabbed it and looked at it. I looked very closely and it said and it said it was it was too I was shocked. Did I go to the past too? I looked at Monkey. He just. I didn't want him to disappear. I hugged him tightly. And then that's when it happened. I woke up. I thought that I got like had a dream. And it was all a dream. I wish that never happened again. I had Rhino Peggy. I never wanted to get adopted. It was too scary. And I'm so glad that that dream was never real. I, I wish I didn't dream. I wish I didn't dream that I wanted to, to become to become a freaking adult this early. I wish that never happened again. The end. The lesson here for this video is, is not all dreams are going to be good. Not all dreams are bad. 5 a.m. and we are in trouble. But we don't really care. Tell us.